guys hope you're doing well welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos in case you're new here welcome my name is D Mwango and kindly consider subscribing to this YouTube channel give the video a like and as usual leave a comment down below let me get to know what you think so I'm coming live from my village here in Kenya Africa and this is how everything looks like man really chill life no noise and yeah that's the beautiful Africa that people never show you most of the village life which is the most amazing so guys please bear with me I know some of you are like D what's happening with your voice I'm not feeling so well but we have to keep going man <laughs> so on today's video guys I want to go and visit one of my most inspirational people that I really look up to who really made me who I am today and somebody who really inspires me in life I hope you also get or you want to get inspired today by his story because he's a village boy but what he's doing you can't even imagine but that's all about today because each and every day I want to keep us inspired want to keep going want to have that positive vibe so let's go we are going to where he's constructing his multi-million mansion <laughs> I know so many people so many people know me by that title but for sure it is actually even more than that so let's keep going let's go and see who he is and let's get inspired all of us so today I'm really impressed because as you see right there good houses are coming up so for those who think in Africa people are really poor no good houses man like this is my village man and people are really really working hard to improve their life standards imagine such a building I don't know if you can see it you know and this is in my village Finally guys, I reached to where the multi-million mansion is being constructed and let's get to see who's this guy who's changing the African narratives. Yo, what's up, what's up? Actually what we're doing now is less talk and more action. Uh -huh. right? That's what we're doing. Yeah. We have to build Africa because we strongly believe it's us, the youngsters, that will build Africa. Yeah. Another thing is, you know, we like to complain in the internet and just talk, 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 talk. But this is now real action, you see, real action. So have see what's here, man. We're not, we're not just talking like we're building, building. Let's see the actions now. Yes. So like right here, we have ballast. Yeah. This ballast is very expensive. But one thing I love about this ballast is it is uh, like the best ballast you can ever find. Yeah. Look at it and look. look. You touch it like this, it's yeah. like cement in your hand, you yeah. see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like it's... It's so nice. So we are not guessing anything here. And we are following every instruction from the architect to the engineers to the foreman. We are following every step, you see. Yeah. As yes. you see, it's a huge heap. Huge heap. Huge because that heap. tells you we are still to we are still on the road, you know. Yeah. Which have you spent so far bringing all this heap that you see right here? Actually, this heap, when you sit that way, mm -hmm. it's, not the, it's not like a, it's the first time I'm putting this ballast here. You can tell other places it's it's not seen because it has been used. Yeah. Actually, this could be like the seventh heap. Yeah. I'm bringing seventh or eighth heap around there, and we still have another one right there. Yes, and we still have another one somewhere there. We yeah. we have them in different locations for easy movement around the site. Mm -hmm. Yes. And per trip, how much does it cost you? Uh, actually, I'm I'm using like a ten. 10, uh, 10 wheel mm -hmm. tipper, we call them tippers here. Yeah. You show them in the yeah, video. Yeah, I showed you, yeah. Yes, and uh, per trip is uh, 73,000 Kenyan shillings. 700, 730, dollars. yes, dollars per trip. You can imagine. Yeah. And actually, it's close to 10 trips around here. So just do the calculation by yourself. And that's just ballast, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And things like uh, things like cement here. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. And we are using the best, best, best cement. It's yeah. called Nguvu. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't see. I can't see the here. They are all there. Yeah. But we are using the best cement, and also we add this small stuff. Mm -hmm. This is called a waterproof. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you can see here waterproof cement. Mm -hmm. Yes. One kg. This one goes for a dollar and kinda a quarter. Mm -hmm. One dollar and a quarter, or close mm -hmm. to one dollar and a half. Mm -hmm. Yes. But 
for every every bag of cement they go two of them because yeah. the place we are building we don't want to guess yeah yeah wow so let's come now to the big 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 mansion let's get to hear mara's plan you know <laughs> me too i'm just waiting to see the building so that i can be like mm, wow maybe i should get my inspiration from this building as i told you the thing is the, the <laughs> building is so huge it's so huge even sometimes i wonder if i will finish it but you know that's normal doubts every day as you go yeah. but every day as you see it moving it gives you hope and like right now where we are is uh, we are still on the foundation Let's like go. this is the foundation you see right here and we are using stones to construct so everything here is like standard you see like for example this mm -hmm. this one pillar yeah and as you see here uh, trust me, you can tell these yeah. are new metals. Mm -hmm. Already one has sunk. Yeah. I mean, one one of these pillars mm -hmm. is down, down, like it's yeah. gone. Yeah. Here, they, b before here, it is like kind of six feet under. Wow. Yes, it's six feet under. Mm -hmm. And still, this is the foundation. We are still wow. in the foundation. We still need to put another beam. It's called beam. It's, mm -hmm. ca it's a composition of a wire, something like this, mm -hmm. but running on top of this. And that will be wow. the end of of uh, of like this okay. part of uh, the foundation. foundation and inside mm -hmm. we have to put stones you can show them you can what the see inside them. is yeah, even from outside you can see the stones no. that yes. are here yes not actually these stones now we have to put rough stones yeah from tomorrow we shall have to levelize this mm -hmm. like really re levelize mm -hmm. then from there put stones all over yeah then from there we shall have more ram yeah. we put more ram yes mm -hmm. so it's crazy just be careful yeah just be careful yeah you can pass somewhere or Yes, okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. So this we are trying to revolize now. Okay, yeah. we are trying to get the level of the house. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow still we are gonna we're gonna be doing this part of mm -hmm. just finding the level, level of the house. Then uh, first heat it until it's kinda stable and steady. Because you can see now it's kinda like shaggy yeah. and up and down. Then from there put stones. Yeah. All over. Mm -hmm. Then we put some more ram. Okay. Yeah. Then we shall put some more ram. Then from there we shall put something we call BRC, is a wire, like a wire mesh. Yeah. And we, there are some other papers. So those are things that engineers will say. Then from yeah. there we put a slab. Yeah. And that will be the end of the foundation. The house is really, 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 really huge. It's huge. Maybe, maybe Mara can show us the plan. Are you comfortable Where, showing yeah, us the can plan? Show you the plan. Where is it? Let's get it. So yes. meanwhile, Mara, yes. how is it working with people every day? Because nowadays, Mara's yeah. behavior has changed. It has changed. He used to be that guy who's really calm, talks yes. in slow, talk. Yeah. Nowadays. <laughs> no, I have to shout, guys, and mm -hmm. not in a bad way. Uh -huh. Actually, if I don't do that, in a day, yeah. I go crazy losses because mm -hmm. some people some people are so strong some mm -hmm. people are so weak mm -hmm. but when they are looking for the work everybody wants to get it yeah. so when you put people in a group you they end up like others working so hard yeah. for others yeah and they start complaining so i have mm -hmm. to take charge as the owner or as the guy i have also the foreman who helps me mm -hmm. and sometimes we coordinate but in reality it's really hard dealing with people mm -hmm. especially in a job like this that you want to see it moving mm -hmm. it's more physical like okay today we we fixed the this we fixed this mm -hmm. oh these stones were moved or this sandal you know mm -hmm. it's more physical like we need to see it mm -hmm. so other people will just come in the site and just keep knocking the metals you may feel mm -hmm. like there's a lot of work being done but mm -hmm. actually there's nothing wow so let's have a a, a look of mara's plan actually i'm gonna be revealing this plan in details when my architect Comes. arrives here yeah. he's actually traveling and it's crazy. People will not understand it because it's maybe they want to see the final, like maybe the, the layman's yeah. language. But the plan is crazy. It's it's really whole there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's bring so close. It's a lot of drawings. Mm -hmm. Yes, show everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a lot of drawings. Lot of small details. Mm -hmm. Even even the the length of the metals that we are using here. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the plan. Like this yeah. this section here. We are only talking about the pillars when you see this line circling. Mm -hmm. We are only talking about the pillars. Mm -hmm. So here we are talking like some pillars will keep going up, some will just end somewhere. Yes. Maybe this one will make them understand what you're really looking for. So this is from the behind, like this, the back of the house. Mm -hmm. Back of the house will look like this. Mm -hmm. The front of the house should be the other paper. Like, Which is, yes. let, me, let me get it. Yes, Thank we're going to show you the front of the house. Wow. This is how the house will look like. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the front of the house. Mm -hmm. And from the side of the house should be the next paper. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now where we are filming, hold, hold this one on. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, like that. 
So that's wow. how the house will look like. It will have a swimming pool running in front of the house. Mm -hmm. But these are the things that I will reveal when my architect will Comes. be here, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But so far, that is the dream we are, we are building. I want to make this place in a way that, mm -hmm. like, I will just... And I'm not competing anybody or trying to say, oh, look at me now. I'm just yeah. trying to fulfill my dreams yeah. in this art. That's all. Yes. As I told you, Mara is that guy that really changed my life. And I think if it was not for him, nobody yeah. else could have motivated me. Like, D, do this, do that. So what advice can you give to the young guys out there who maybe have a dream like this, but they're like, mm, how will I make it? I think the uh, thing is, uh, for example, nowadays people believe in, let's first put this one here. We shall fix them. Yeah. The thing is, uh, many people strongly believe in education. Yeah. I am not against education, but I believe in skills nowadays more yeah. than education. Mm -hmm. Like even if you're going to study something, go and study something that will give you some skill. Mm -hmm. I believe skills will feed you, mm -hmm. but education will make you unemployed, you know. Mm -hmm. Because education kind of puts you in a position where you're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. It's like having a job is your savior. Yeah. But a skill is like, man, yeah. I, I just need a job. I just need, and you don't need somebody's job. You can yeah. even do Great things yours. for your own, you yeah. know. That's one thing I should like emphasize. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Africa really needs, a skill. Mm -hmm. a skill. Go learn something, go learn yeah. something. Like the guys, who, the guys who are fixing these metals for yeah. me here, you can tell. Mm -hmm. I'm paying them a lot of money mm -hmm. a day, yes. Yeah. A skill. A skill is everything that you need nowadays. And yes. how much roughly have you spent from, you know, constructing all this that we've seen here, guys? It's you know? crazy. Mm -hmm. I think right now it's running to close to $30,000. $30,000. Yes, 30, actually, people may think I'm exaggerating, but, but, but everything, even these stones, for example, a tip of this stone, a tip of this stone, mm -hmm. okay? It's yeah. uh, five hundred and fifty dollars, and I have trip. a trip per trip, mm -hmm. and I have like I think seven, five to seven. Mm -hmm. The the ballast I've showed you, one trip is seven hundred and something. Yeah. And remember, we've been digging this thing. This, don't see it right now shining like this. <laughs> Actually, look at this metal. You see this metal here, yeah. here. It's uh, the length is like this, the and it, it has sunk. It's gone. Yeah. This metal, this one here. It's here. The brother is here. And the yeah. other one is right there. You see this metal, this one here, this one. Yeah. It's gone. It's buried. Yeah. And everything we were putting there was like double, double. Double. Yes, double. like double the number of uh, cement mm -hmm. because this place is kind of wet waterproof. Mm -hmm. and waterproof. Mm -hmm. And also the metals. Hey, it's crazy. <laughs> yes, it's crazy. Wow. So me as a sister, I wanna say congratulations, bro, for Thank setting you so standards. Much. Yes. You know, uh, yeah, you too. I learned from him, man. Yeah, but don't feel the pressure. Don't feel the pressure. <laughs> Just go no, on your I'm own I'm ever pace. motivated. Man, my brother is doing this. What yeah. about me? What, no, what actually, I when do? I was growing up, I used to see like a lot of people in a site. Mm -hmm. A site is a place where you construct like this one. Yeah, like this. I used to see like maybe 50 people and I would wonder, hey, yeah. the owner who is building this place must be like mega rich. Like, uh -huh. how is he able to pay all these people at once? Every day. <laughs> Nowadays, I want even more so that I can, it can be easier for me yeah. to like pull the house up mm -hmm. or to build so quick I mean yeah. because when they are less they take long time mm -hmm. and they do the same job over and over, over, and, and, over. over and over so now I realize oh man <laughs> actually we need more people in the site and Mara's word every day yeah. he tells me since you build yourself you become you, whatever you want to be and yes. that has really helped me every day you build you create yourself yeah. actually mm -hmm. I feel like our life like human beings mm -hmm. is like a big tree yeah. so every day you carve yourself if you if, want to have muscles so yes, you want you want to to, be, you that's know, how life is. That's day. how life is. But I think at the same time, me working here, mm -hmm. I have to be like kind of more strict, mm -hmm. yes, than just the regular marrow. Yeah. Because if I don't do that, my muscles will just like, you know, be there yes. and you know. Yes. So everything is possible. Believe in yourself. You know, you can be anything that you really, really, really want. Yes. Every day I see people saying, "Do you keep us motivated?" So I hope today you also inspired. Yes. Because that's the essence of this YouTube channel. Get inspired. Thank you, guys. I think I will end there. I need to pay my masons. Yeah. It's kind of late. So, Anne, end your video. Yeah, let video. me finish. Yeah, follow, so, me on, uh, follow me on YouTube and yeah. Instagram. Yeah, yes. the link is down here, down here. Go click on it and subscribe. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your love and support. Everything is possible. As Maros just said, you build yourself. Never give up in life. Every day, wake up, chase your dreams, and you can be really anything that you want to be. So, bye Bye bye, see you soon on my next video and a shout out to my cameraman right here. Junior David. Wow guys. <laughs> so see you soon on my next video guys. Bye bye.